you ever wondered why the early church was able to do what it did? That early church advanced on its knees. There are so many people that say, well, I don't feel like praying. I only pray when I feel like it. Then you're wrong. Prayer is the most important thing we do. From one end of the Bible to the other, there are stories of those whose prayers have been answered. Men who turned the tide of history by prayer. Men who fervently prayed and God answered. History has been changed time after time because of prayer. I tell you, history could be altered and changed again if people went to their knees in believing prayer. May I tell you that the greatest problem that we face is not unanswered prayer, it is unoffered prayer. Skeptics may question it, humanists may deny it, and intellectuals ridicule it. Yet here is Christ's own promise. Ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. God answers prayer. God alone knows how many blessings we could have had had we only asked. The message here is that there is immense spiritual power working in us. It works within us as the church for the glory of Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. But when you pray in the Spirit, if God be for you, who can be against you? There's only one power available to change the course of history, and that is the power of prayer prayed by God-fearing, Christ-believing men.